Okay, so here we are. I'm going to go into Zoom. Let's start a new meeting. And I wanted to just go over the, some of the screen sharing options that I found really useful when I'm teaching. So you go down to the screen share button. And you click on this. It allows you several options. You can share your desktop, which means you can share anything on your desktop, a document, a film, or you could use the whiteboard. I'll click on that for a second and it gives you all kinds of tools up here. You can draw, you can do all kinds of things on this. Okay, you can clear it, all of that good stuff. into screen share. Then it says you could you can connect an iPad or an iPhone or an iPad with a cable. I tend to do it via AirPlay. That's what I use it the most for, but I'll show you that in a second with my iPad Pro. So let me go in to here. So if I share my desktop, basically everything on my desktop comes up. So I could easily go into let's say YouTube, share a music video that I want the kids to see. Like we recently did this little Bach fugue. out of YouTube it just cancels everything there okay I could also bring up a document if I wanted them to see something like that um, so it's really useful I found I found it incredibly useful so I go down here again and now I'm gonna show you what happens when I hook up my iPhone or iPad so first you have to click this okay and that will pop up I'm going to grab my my iPad Pro. This has become one of my favorite tools. I know it's a bit costly, but boy, it's worth the investment. So I just want to show you a little bit what happens. So on the iPad Pro, you can reach this control menu by swiping diagonally down from the upper right um, corner. And you can see there's adjustments for brightness, volume, all kinds of things, but most people don't recognize that little screen sharing mirror button. And that brings up a cue which shows my MacBook Pro has now been added because I enabled it in Zoom. So you click on that. It's not going to allow me to connect because I'm recording, so I'm going to get a little warning, but um, normally a little check mark shows up when it does connect and then you click out and then basically whatever you do on your iPad the students are going to see in the screen share. Once I configure my iPad here to share my screen so now I'm sharing the screen of my my iPad which allows me all kinds of things. I can go into a music app. We could go and do flash class and they're going to see it. Right? And they can they can name the notes. I can also go into any documents, which has been great. So let's say we want to do this little minuet by Bach. I can go right in there. It allows me to scroll it allows me, I can either use my cursor to show them, you know, da 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 right? So I can sing it or I could play it, but I can scroll or I could even use my pencil and say, oh, look at the triplets. Can we find all the triplets in there? And the kids can even, you can even allow the kids to have a screen sharing option where they can draw on the screen and things like that. And you can say, oh, where are all the, where are all the 16th notes groups? 
So you can you can do a little find like that. Um, it's, it's it's so useful. I can highlight things like this. I can also erase everything very quickly. I can also share it after I've marked it up. I could say, you know, if if somebody was having trouble counting this, one and a, two. Three, one, two, three, one e and a, and so forth. And then I could go up to this little share button. Of course, it's not working there. I have to do it in my iPad. And I can go up there, and I can easily share this with my notation right in there included, which has become so helpful because I can actually correct their papers right on my iPad and then send them back to them via email. It's awesome. If you've got music writing software pulled up, you can actually write the piece together. It's great when you want to show like layers of voices. It's great if you're doing a music theory. You can see I was writing some, some music theory for them today. It helps them because by watching me draw, or notate what needs to be notated. By, at, by watching me, it kind of gets their mirror neurons going and firing, and they're much more engaged because they feel like I'm there with them and I can see what they see. And of course, it helps to have the parents there too, kind of supporting this process. But it's really been great for, for doing music theory assignments in class, going over homework, anything, you name it. Score analysis where you really want to write the chords in or, or show them a place where the voices are imitating or how many voices there are. You can use different, you could use different colors. You could say, you know, here's the melody and then here's the harmony. Oops, that's a pencil. But, you know, I could mark up there. Uh, so many things. Like I said, you can highlight something. You could highlight the accidentals and they can still see them. Things like that. I mean, it's just, it's just great. It's a great visual. You can tell them right where you're looking. Oh, I'm looking, I'm, I'm doing this one right here. <laughs> so, uh, you know, it, it really does help, especially with the online teaching. I'm just going to erase everything here that I did. It's always helpful to erase whatever you did on the thing before you leave it because then it's all fresh and ready to go again if you're using it for another class. That's just a little tidbit. Okay, so I'm going to stop screen sharing now by hitting this little red button. And that's how you do it with a couple clicks. It's, it's a very simple thing that you can use to uh, add visuals to your teaching, and especially during group class, or any type of class, actually. Um, I was using the iPad pencil, but the tablet also allows you to just use your finger and draw, too, so that's a possibility. You don't have as much fine, you know, fine motor control, but you can, but you can still draw and still use it, even if you don't have an iPad Pro with a pencil or a stylus, so. Definitely, it's been one of my best investments, so I hope you consider it, and if you liked this and felt it was helpful, please give me a like, and please feel free to check out my other videos and my blog at singplaymove.com blog. See you next time.